Okay, and Colt Ver Kurt Volker, I should say, former NATO security advisor. Mr. Volker, I want to start with you, sir. Give me your assessment of what's going on right now, because a lot of people, just to bring people up to date, there appears to have been uh, an errant Russian missile that landed in Poland. It was, the target looked like it may have been Ukraine. Maybe it was errant, maybe it wasn't. But it landed in Poland and two people have died. So, sir, take it from there, your impressions. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, first off, it's very important that there be a response of some kind, not necessarily military, but we need to show that this is not acceptable. I would say there ought to be an immediate convening of the North Atlantic Council at NATO to get a briefing from Poland. And both Poland and NATO should ask for an immediate explanation from Russia as to what happened. And finally, NATO ought to make a further warning that any further strikes on NATO territory, whether accidental or not, will be met with a response. Uh, this should not be allowed to happen and should not stand. And I think NATO needs to step up immediately uh, to push back on, on Russia's bombing here, even if it was an accident. General Holt, I want to bring you in here because your initial response was, just wait. Wait until we learn more. Wait until the story develops. What do you agree with, Kurt, regarding NATO issuing an immediate response? Well, I, you know, having worked at NATO as a deputy representative, I absolutely agree with him that uh, the nations should now be getting together at the military and political level, if for nothing else, to show resolve, unity, uh, take uh, the, the story in from Poland on both sides, and uh, we should be standing up and, and, and showing that we're unified and have a unified face towards this. And, and even an accident is not acceptable. However, um, what, what I would say is, there needs to be a Russian response, and a lack of a Russian response or dip diplomatic channels being opened up will tell us quite a bit as well. So, um, you know, uh, Lavrov is with the top leaders. He should also be making some explanations. We should be hearing some sort of Russian statement, whether it sounds apologetic or not. Um, I wanted to ask uh, Rick Gates, who's also with us. Uh, Rick, you know, when it comes to military action, when it comes to politics, sometimes you look for an excuse to give a certain reaction. I don't know that that's what we have here, but when you have a missile that lands in NATO territory, uh, is it possible that NATO says, okay, now we have the entrance, a, a way to get into this in, in a fashion that we would not have otherwise? Well, this is why we need to be prudent, because this could also be a Russian ploy to provoke the West and NATO into uh, a larger you know, uh, war. And this is something we have to be careful about as well. But I, I do agree with Kurt. I think it's absolutely essential that NATO make some sort of pronounced statement. NATO has not had the best track record. If you remember in 2014, when Russia invaded Crimea, NATO was virtually seen as useless at that time. They didn't really step up to uh, the, the, the issue, and they didn't deal with it directly. So NATO has to come together, unify, and make a, a, a very impactful statement and make Russia feel it, not necessarily militarily. We have other options available, but they've got to take that step. And if they don't see it, then they're going to be seen as very weak. Yeah, and as a reminder, NATO has been a big component of Russia's um, explanation, their rationale, false though it be, right. uh, for them being involved in Ukraine. So we'll continue this conversation. Yeah. All right. Rick Gates, General Holt, and Kurt Volker, th Ver Volker thanks so much for joining us. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the, the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to don't think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.